Hey everyone, this is Love Bites. I'm Jennifer. And I'm Bishop. And again, this is Love Bites. And on this episode of Love Bites, we are going to take your questions. We've gotten a lot of questions and what we want to do is make sure that we address some of them. So, you ready? I'm ready. If you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. That's right. That's now, right. you know what else is ready? What? These shirts, Bo. Oh, we got to let them see the shirts. shirts. Yeah, see? They ain't going right there. Yeah, sure. look at that, look at that. Oh, yeah. What does it say, baby? Nothing. Makes. Sense. When. We're. Apart. Ooh. Come on back over here, baby. Yeah, I'm coming. Let's get this going. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're talking about a question um, from Vivian from Virginia. Yep. Um, about the road to resolution. Yeah. How to forgive and or forget. Yes. And again, what's the road to resolve the So, issues? So let me share with you all something that I believe is a little principle of philosophy about how to forgive and forget. Me and Jennifer, uh, in um, purchasing homes, uh, we, we've had several homes. And uh, the last one we moved into, it was a house that was abandoned. Mm -hmm. It was uh, um, boarded, up. boarded up. and um, Abandoned for three years. It, it, was, it was bad off. Mm -hmm. And the first thing we did was we had to do an assessment of its value yeah. to see if it was worth us putting our time, our energy, and our money and any, anything that interests us into this house. Mm -hmm. And that's about the same synopsis or the understanding of a relationship that has went through a little uh, rough patch. Yeah, because like the house, the house, again, is an older home, and so it has been lived in before. It has history. It's been through some things, and so you have to make an assessment as to whether or not it's worth your investment. Is it worth you going through and, and, and looking at it? Is it worth it being lived in, or is it worth flipping? You have to make those type of decisions. So one of the greatest analogies that, that we can come up with for this is, you know, related to a home. So first thing you do is you do an assessment. Do an assessment to see its value. Yeah. To see if it's worth flipping or turning around. Yeah. Because a lot of your relationships can be boarded up emotionally. You yeah. don't want you don't want anything else to come in because something's damaged on the inside. Mm -hmm. And then the second one is that you got to have a hash. Um, hashing, uh, hashing out of the situation. Yeah. You got to talk about it. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, they go for days, weeks without addressing it, and then it becomes more damage. The structural damage of the house of forgiveness or uh, forgetting the situation is deteriorating day to day. So in a hash session, you have to be able to sit down and have a real courageous conversation courageous about conversation. what the issue is. Um, and then remember that forgiving and forgetting are two separate verbs they have there's there's separate roles to get to each of them but in order to even get to either one of them you have to sit down talk about what the issue is look at the the deafness of it the deepness of it you know if, if you buy an old home you buy for what it is and when you start doing the um home appraisal no, home, home improvement no the uh when they come in and they do the uh, renovation no the people that come in and they they look at your house and uh, it sounds good whatever it is just talk that about man it. so when that person <laughs> comes in and he goes in he goes under the uh he goes under the house he goes oh, above yeah. the house he does everything to make sure that it's worth the time in which it's going to take for you to invest and they give you the numbers and say this is what you're looking at um you have to do one of those in your relationships to make sure that this, again, is worth the conversation of, of moving forward. And so that's what a hash session is. Talk about it. Talk about the ugly, the good, the indifferent, so that you will make good decisions based on good information. And then you can create your blueprint to yeah. move forward. Yeah. Because when you create your blueprint to move forward, you have a strategy or a map or even a GPS on your road to resolve. Mm. And so... Um, we practiced that, and I think it has helped us get to an almost 19 years of marriage. Yeah, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you know, they said we weren't going to make it. They said we weren't going to make three months. Three days. Yeah. They, they bet they against bet us. A wedding party. How'd that bet work out for you? Uh-huh. Cash, no. cash me outside. <laughs> so listen, Vivian. Um, <laughs> even through 19 years of marriage, there's been ups, there's been downs, but we made the assessment that we were able to work through whatever. We did a hash out and yeah. had to hash it out and had a conversation. We worked through it and so. And then we created that blueprint. Shout out to Jay-Z. Oh, that's right. So, <laughs> listen, this has been Love by Vivian from Virginia. I hope this helped. We'll see you next time. Take care.